Hi guys, how's it going? And this is a kind of a requested video um, from somebody out there who wanted to know how do I split my uh, drawing between two monitors, have one zoomed in and one zoomed out. Now, um, I thought of a few different ways to do this. Um, it's not typically something that I do, but it is possible actually to do it and it kind of looks kind of cool when it's done. So let's take a look and see how it's done. So what we're going to do first is, if you notice, I'm double clicking up here. And what this does is it kind of uncollapses AutoCAD, so it kind of moves around like this. Um, what I want to do is I need that because I want to take AutoCAD now, and uh, for lack of a better term, I'm going to move it in here, but I'm going to stretch it across both my monitors. So I have basically two 1080 displays now with AutoCAD stretched from one end to the other. Now, in model space, let's say we drew a, our, my patented smiley face here, horribly looking, not even symmetrical but it's there, perfect. Now, if I wanted to have a zoomed in smiley face over here so I can work on the eye detail and have the overall over here, it can be done in model space or layout. So you can utilize two separate drawing spaces and have two separate things. Um, so to do this, what you're gonna do is first of all, if you don't have this bar up here, I'm just gonna suggest getting it up there. Um, what you're gonna wanna do is type in menu bar, hit enter, and then set it to one, and you should have this guy here. So that's menu bar, enter, one, enter, and then you should see this bar across the top. The one you're gonna be looking for is view. You'll click view, go to viewports, and you're gonna select two. Now with two selected, you'll notice in the command line, it's gonna ask us for horizontal or vertical. So if your monitors are horizontal, meaning you have one on the left and one on the right, you're gonna to wanna to select vertical. It's gonna be tempting to hit horizontal, but you're gonna want vertical because it's gonna place a vertical display line between the two here. So, and if you have one monitor above the other, then you might want horizontal and expand up instead. So we're gonna do vertical. So if you notice, it's already on there. So I can just hit enter and I'm gonna have two separate things now. Now, if your monitors are two different sizes, you can adjust this middle line to kind of do what you want to do. And now, what you can do is you can do zoom expense over here, and you can kind of work in here, and you'll see, as I put a circle in here, you'll see the circle appear over here, and I kind of have my overall view and my zoomed in view. And again, this can be done easily just by going to view viewports too, and just kind of mess around with this to kind of get it right on the division of your monitors. Now, one thing that's going to be kind of sad and disappointing for you possibly is the fact that this here doesn't, you know, you won't be able to make up the extra space here and the extra space down here unless you remove the, the ribbon completely and you take the command line here, undock it, and move it to one side or the other. Um, it really depends on what you want to do. So you can easily take the command line, move it to here, and make up some of that space down here. Um, but if you notice, the ribbon kind of stays expanded. So, um, so if you really wanted to fight that and you were anti-ribbon, um, you can kind of do that if you really wanted to um, or get rid of it all together like that. Uh, but I usually leave it out like this and then I'll take this and kind of adjust it for the, the, the separation between the two monitors. Um, so again, I hope this helps. That's how I would divide it up. Now this also works in layout space, but man, it gets really confusing as to which one you're in floating model and which one you're not. But you can do it. Um, I don't suggest it, but it is possible. So uh, if that's something you want to do, Go for it, but just note it does kind of get a little dicey when you start doing this in layout space. For, for model space, working on it and doing intricate details, um, yes, you can do something like that and have an overall and see everything that you're doing right here in real view. So it all depends on what you want to do. But again, if you like the channel, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I hope this helped. Thank you.